But regardless, Louis Dan Gore. Oh, uh, yeah, you put it right. Correct. Yeah, Louis Dan Gore is um, at the Louis Dan Gore on Twitter is trending on Twitter. Um, the reason I'm not sure. Um, let's just read what some people have to say about him. Apparently, he's a perv. I Who mean, is this? Who he, is this Louis? Louis Dan Gore is a let's get let's pull him up on Twitter here. So he is a wrestling journalist. He's a lead editor at Give Me Sport and Snack Media, journalist and presenter. And he tweets about wrestling. I think he reports on wrestling. I think he writes about wrestling. See, like, despite being under contract with AEW, it's been claimed that there's a lot of money left on the table for Samoa Joe and WWE. So he, like, breaks this news and all this sort of stuff, and people shit on him for his takes all the all Joe. the time. Joe, get back. Anyways, continue. So these guys, people are just saying here, so let's look. Seeing uh, that the timeline rightly flaming Louis Dangor, all I'm going to say is absolutely deserved and overdue. Uh, at the Lucha Joe, Louis Dangor finally getting exposed for being a creep. Will Washington get signed to AEW? What a great day. Um, at Snowy Day Tie, Louis Dangor pack watch has finally arrived and I couldn't be. So p- basically he's a creep. I don't know this guy. Uh, at Pablo the Duck 084. Louis Dangor, evidence? go fuck yourself. Answer? I have no idea. Um, so square, so squared, r slash uh, squared circle on Reddit uh, wrote some details of Gimme Sports' lead WWE writer Louis Dangor's sexual misconduct are revealed, including sending BDSM fan fix to colleagues, creating a fake podcast used to get women on camera for the purpose of asking for webcam sex, asking a married colleague for a threesome, and more. Um. Man, I don't know, no. dude. I, I get it. Don't like, okay, you know, now I'm not going to, I'm I'm not going to say anything that's going to get us canceled or in trouble here, but I will say this hairline, you know, when like you look at people and you just know, like, yeah, they probably, I would not leave my child around them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, okay. He looks like one of those and um, he's, he's just a real creep. Just his tweets rub me the wrong way in a way where it's like I can't explain it you can't put your finger on it and usually those people are the ones you keep your children away from and you and women need to avoid and uh, I'm not surprised by this let me just put that out there <laughs> that's all I don't know. like uh, all of it sounded bad besides the one in a threesome with a married lady you know? <laughs> yeah I mean hey man just, maybe they were into yeah. we don't know we don't know we, right, we don't you, she won't be into that, man. You know what I'm saying? And her husband and or her uh, husband. Could be with a- Louie, though, it's like, uh, I don't know, brother. Yeah, I don't I, that seemed- <laughs> Just show me him, bro. So he's just one of no, these guys all- who's like, I would describe him as like a Melvin. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but just look at him like, I don't know. He just doesn't. There's just oh, something man. about him. God, having threesomes with people's wives. Yeah, you know. <laughs> And it says 22. So is he 22 years old? He's probably just this. I don't know, man. It's uh, fucking the tribal chief, though. That's cool. Yeah. 